Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you should watch out for jealous narcissists. Please give it a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Watch out for jealous narcissists. Jealous narcissists are very dangerous. They are likely to cause problems. They are likely to bring adverse consequences to you because they are morally despicable and corrupt. They're untrustworthy, disloyal and treacherous. So they will deceive and betray you because they are rotten to the core. They're immoral and dishonest. So it doesn't matter what you say or what you do. They won't try to learn anything from you, even though they secretly admire you and want to be like you. They will secretly hate on you because they think you're better than them. And they think you think you're better than them. So no matter what you say or do, they will twist it from their pride, which is why it's a waste of time trying to talk to them. It's like trying to talk to a brick wall because they're jealous of you. So they will be passive aggressive. They may pretend that you're not there. They may ignore you or give you the sign of treatment because it's a trauma response. They're trying to manage and cope with their feelings of jealousy towards you. So they will act ignorant or stubborn. They will seem inattentive or unresponsive. They will be forgetful, distracted, preoccupied, vague and self-absorbed, as though they're lost in thought and unaware of their surroundings or actions, or as though they have a lack of focus or attention, because they're trying to tune you out. They're trying to stop listening and paying attention to you because they're jealous of you. They wish they were you. They wish they had what you have. They wish they could do what you do. And that is why they deliberately cease to take an interest in you. And instead they will display indifference, apathy, disinterest, disregard, detachment, dispassion, inattention, nonchalance, unconcern and boredom. And they will do everything in their power to appear as though they are not engaged, intrigued, involved, focused or immersed because they're jealous of you. So they want you to feel unimportant, worthless, insignificant, petty and small because that's exactly how they feel in your presence. They feel disgust, fatigue, indifference, detachment, distaste and dullness because they resent your achievements, possessions and perceived advantages. To them it's unjust, improper and wrong. It's unfair, discriminatory and biased. Because they're entitled, they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They think the world should revolve around them. Which is why even if they ask you for help and you help them, they're not going to be grateful or thankful for it. And instead they will experience annoyance, anger and resentment by a perceived insult and disregard for themselves because they see it as though you're better and smarter than them. Which in their minds is unfair because they're jealous of your wisdom and experience. They're spineless and spiritless they have a lack of courage to face danger, difficulty, opposition and pain. They're irresponsible. They may feel a smug or uncritical satisfaction for themselves to defend against their fragile egos. But the reality is that they see someone who is better, working smarter and able to work less because of their efficiency. And because they're jealous, there's really nothing you can say to them because they will take offence to everything. So instead of feeling grateful or inspired by your qualities or advice, they will see it as though you just think you're better than them. 
they will take it as an attack on their character. Which is why you need to stay away from jealous narcissists. Because they cause nothing but distress, discomfort, difficulty, misfortune, hardship and suffering. They will deliberately cause trouble and inconvenience for you. Because they're miserable people. They feel inadequate. They have low value. Which is why they're always unhappy, bad-tempered and unfriendly. Because they feel inferior and subservient to you. As though they should have to obey you unquestioningly. Which isn't something they want to do because they have an inflated ego. So instead they will try to empower themselves by making you envy them. Especially if they previously felt that you were disgusted, disgusted or ashamed of them or indifferent towards them. They may grumble and express displeasure. Or they may find fault with you and make spitefully critical, critical comments about you. Because they want to reverse the power dynamics. So instead of demanding from you, they will withdraw. Instead of pursuing you, they will distance themselves. And instead of confronting their shame, they will feel fear. As though you are a threat of danger, pain or harm. And they may even express their feelings of terror, horror, alarm and panic towards you as a means of control. So that they can shift the balance of power in their favour. Rather than having to feel shame for being deficient in something. Which is why you do need to be very careful when you're dealing with jealous narcissists. Because they may allege that you are guilty of some fault, offence or crime. And they may even provoke you into reacting to them. So that they can get you in trouble with the law. Because they're extremely jealous and insecure. So they will do anything to gain power and control over you. Because they see it as though everything just fell into your lap. As though it happened without any effort on your part. They don't see it as though you worked hard to get to where you were. Because they feel inferior. So they, so they don't believe they can do that. And they're not really concerned about what you've accomplished. Or the positive effects that it may have had on the community. Because they're egotistical. So they just see it as though you're better and smarter than them. Which means it doesn't matter what you say to them. It doesn't matter how good, moral, ethical and upstanding you may be. That will just make them hate you even more. Because they know that they can achieve anything the right way. Which is why you should never give anything of value to those who do not appreciate it. Pigs and dogs cannot appreciate ethics. They cannot acknowledge or understand the moral principles that govern your behaviour and the conducting of your activities. Which is why if you give them anything of value, they will destroy it and then attempt to tear you to pieces. Because they're ungrateful. They cannot appreciate anything you give to them because they hate you. But it's not as a result of anything that you've done to them. You haven't betrayed or mistreated them. Their hate stems from negative assumptions, images and beliefs about you. Things that they have concocted in their minds. As a result of their inability to accept that all humans can never be equal in terms of happiness, money and love. Which is why jealous narcissists will hate on you. And you may not even know them. You may never have had a conversation with them. And yet they will cheat and deceive you. Even though you're not someone who deceived or lied to people. Because they're jealous of your light. This element of your being. That jumps up and down with positive, creative, hopeful and forward looking energy. Where you may have extraordinary, delicate and very specific images in your mind. Which can make you a target of envy, bullying attempts to undermine your self-esteem and your sense of who you are because they see you as an authoritative figure as someone who has the power or right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience but jealous narcissists are highly emotional because they're mentally ill so they don't value themselves they feel deficient and inadequate so they always feel like they need more because they have a scarcity mindset 
a fixed pattern of thinking, where they're constantly focusing on what they don't have, while believing that they're never going to have the things that they want. Even though they may have access to basic needs, such as food, water and housing, but they just always want more because they obsess over what they lack and they're unable to provide for themselves. They believe that there are limited resources. So they see it as though if they, if you have something, that means that there is less of that resource available for them. And it gets to a point where they fear you having anything. So they will always do the opposite of what you expect them to do, to work against you, to prevent you from developing or succeeding with a presumption that it will make something more readily available to them. And they may even do this with small things. Such as if you said you support a certain sports team, they will say that they like the opposing team. Or if you buy a new car, they will say they don't like that car. And then they will compare it to a different car. Until gradually they end up hating you more and more. Not because of something you don't have or because of something you've done wrong, but because of what you do have and because of everything you're doing right. And they may also think that you're jealous of them because they're delusional and they're already on that wavelength because they're jealous of you, which is why they're highly competitive because they're not interested in a fair contest because they already know they're not as good as you which is why they will deliberately attempt to sabotage your performance. They will cheat, lie and steal. They will do whatever they have to do to put you down so that this dream of them surpassing you becomes more attainable to them. Which is why if you have any great ideas or you're already successful, you should just keep it to yourself. Don't broadcast it, but don't broadcast it. Don't let anyone know because it will attract jealous people to you who do not want you to succeed in material terms or to grow strong and healthy. So they will do anything to bring you down. And they may even resort to sorcery or witchcraft. They will try to drag you down to hell with them, which is why it's very important for you to protect your mental state. Because whenever you're around a jealous narcissist, they will batter you mentally. They hate to see you smiling. They hate to see you having a good time because they're always miserable and they see your happiness as arrogance, as though you think you're better than them. So they will try to cause you to feel less important and proud. Whenever you're happy, they will be in a bad mood and they will drain the life out of you because they're jealous of your happiness and joy. So they can only feel better if they can depress you by saddening, discouraging and disheartening you and leaving you without enthusiasm or hope because then they're feeding off your energy. So it gives them a taste of what it feels like to feel good. They can't experience pleasure or satisfaction any other way and they don't even want to try. They reject experience, knowledge and good judgment. They may ask for it, but then they will resent you for it because they feel like they can't do anything. So they make excuses for everything because they lack confidence and they may have limited beliefs, which is why when they see your confidence, they feel inferior to you because you have so much energy and they're always lazy, tired and unmotivated. So they can't be inspired by you and instead it overwhelms them and it feels easier for them to steal your energy from you. Which is why, when you're around a jealous narcissist, it will go around in circles to where you're having to be engaged in something for a long time without achieving anything other than purposeless repetition. Because by keeping you in these loops, you're expending a lot of energy and it's feeding them, it's giving them life which is why the only thing you can do is cut them off because they're only going to drink you. So the longer you are around them, the less comfortable, healthy and happy you're going to be. Because even if you are comfortable, healthy and happy, 
they're going to see you shine. And then they're going to want to put out your light because it's the only way they can feel empowered. They don't have any light of their own. But their jealousy is actually very damaging to them. It can cause them to obsessively monitor your communication, relationships and whereabouts, attempt to lower your self-confidence, or even behave violently because they want you to remain dependent on them so that they can get what they need from you. But it actually just causes them to end up feeling even more threatened and insecure. It deepens their obsession to where they end up micromanaging you. And they end up having to do more and more just to get the same hit that they had at the beginning. Because when they initially acted on their jealousy, they may have gotten a more pronounced response from you. But the more they do it, the less effect it has on you. So then they're having to do more and more just to be left with morsels of your attention. Because it no longer has the effect that it once did. And this is how their jealous behavior escalates. Because they're looking for the magic button that they have to press to get the type of response that they want. The type of response that they got from you at the beginning, which made them feel better about themselves. And it leads to them becoming very possessive and controlling to where they end up becoming heavily dependent on your reactions as a source of their sustenance. And they're willing to do anything to get the type of response that they want which is what causes people to murder or to become violent. It's what causes people to try to ruin someone's reputation because they just don't want to feel so worthless and insignificant anymore. And they feel like you are the answer to their price, but it just causes them to be held hostage by their own hatred because they've given another person a ridiculous amount of control over their life. They've given you the power to determine how they're going to feel by hating on you because they're trying to block out the self-awareness of their emotional pain which just makes them bitter and it ruins their life. Because as Gautama Buddha once said holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die but they feel like it's less painful than having to go within and accept their own feelings of insignificance. So they feed their jealousy and they deliberately make themselves unaware because then it enables them to carry out their revenge fantasy, which is what they want to do because they like that feeling. They're familiar with it. They're used to watching someone else getting what they want and being happy. While they're just watching from the sidelines. It's all they've ever known. And that is why they want it to continue. It's why they don't put a stop to it. Because they're used to having to engage in unpleasant, unwanted activities. To the point where it has become a habit. And they're addicted to the rush of dopamine and adrenaline that they get from it. They enjoy the thrill of the chase. They enjoy the pursuit. They enjoy that feeling of, feeling of excitement they get when they are trying to find someone or achieve something difficult. They crave power over you. But what they want more than anything else, whether they realize it or not, is the thrill of the chase. The excitement, interest, energy and enthusiasm they get from pursuing you. They find no joy in cornering you because that experience is unfamiliar to them. They could never get what they wanted. They were always observing everyone else get what they want. So they spent most of their lives chasing and pursuing which is why that's what they're addicted to. And it's why they actually find very little fulfillment in actually achieving the objective. 
Because no matter what they have or do, it's never enough. And it's never enough because they never got what they wanted in their childhood. Which is why they spend most of their lives comparing and looking at what everyone else is doing. Because that's what they're used to. They're used to having to sabotage people and having to deprive people of something. Because that's the only way they're going to get anything by eating off someone else's plate. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.